Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming Kara C's My Beauty Community tag. So first of all, shout out to Kara C for creating such an awesome tag. Definitely will be linking her video and the questions down in my description box. Next person I need to shout out is Heather Austin. Now we are definitely newer friends here on YouTube, but I feel like I've known her forever. Britt Clark introduced us because Britt is always shouting Heather out. And of course I had to check her out. Now we have a group chat on Marco Polo and I swear I feel like I'm in these girls' lives even though we don't remotely live anywhere near each other so I have to shout out Heather definitely check out her channel she loves green eyeshadow she loves sparkles and her face is flawless I <laughs> listen I want to go to Heather's house and have her help me do my skin as gorgeous as hers looks on her videos so definitely check her out she is awesome she's a mama she's got a beautiful boy named Jackson so shout out to Heather Austin and her channel and thank you Heather for collabing with me you guys please do me a favor and send her some massive makeup savage love anyway without further blabbering let's get into the tag video okay guys quick disclaimer I want to mention a million people in every category. I am so sorry if I miss somebody, but I will link as many channels as I can down in the description box. You guys know I am a picky bitch. So when I recommend a channel, it's for good reason, okay? And the other thing I have been trying to do very actively on my subscription feed is to try and find more women that look like me on YouTube. So it's been a, it's been a challenge, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of my subscription feed is filled with people that don't necessarily look like me. So I'm trying to add more diversity to my subscription feed. Um, it's something I've been doing probably since the end of last year, start of this year. It, it really hit me that a lot of the women I follow are of a lighter skin tone. And I was like, you know what? It's my responsibility as a YouTuber to try and seek out other YouTubers that look like me, that have different skin tones from me. So I was getting into a rut of just subscribing to the same kind of people. So I'm trying to work on that. Definitely let me know in the comments if there's any colorful brown girls that I should be following on YouTube. I feel like I have really really tried to seek out more channels so always helpful to do that and again if I forget to mention anyone I'm sorry check the description box you're probably in there <laughs> and yeah let's get into it so I made notes on my handy dandy YouTube notebook and let's get started so the first question is who is a creator that makes you laugh there's so many good ones here. I have such a dry sense of humor. I love sarcastic YouTubers. Oh my gosh. But I have to mention Teresa is dead. I mean, that's like a no brainer. I wanted to be creative and find people that other people hadn't mentioned in this tag video. But listen, not only does Teresa make me laugh, she makes my husband laugh. So if you guys don't know my husband, He's not obviously into makeup and he'll hear me watching Teresa's videos and he will watch them with me because her intros are hilarious. She always has like a joke about a coworker or like something weird that happened to her in New York City and he just loves it. Like there's times where he'll be like, oh, let's watch Teresa's new video, like just so he can watch the intro. So I'm telling you guys, like he's like the furthest thing from a makeup fan but obviously he shows interest because YouTube is such a big part of my life and the fact that he loves Teresa like just kills me because he just does I think he's like one of her biggest fans and Teresa if you're watching this Rel Harris loves you and if he could meet you I think he'd be more excited than a kid in a candy store because he just thinks you're so so funny so Hopefully we can make that happen. I know she was going to go to Minnesota. Um, I don't think she's going to do that anymore. But you know what? 2020, it may still happen. I got to meet Teresa in New York and she is a freaking peanut. I love her so, so much. So I have to mention Teresa. I, I also want to mention two other channels. Um, I want to mention Nisi PC Pisa. <laughs> she's hilarious. Uh her one-liners are amazing. I also love when people can make jokes like intelligent, not just like say fuck shit 
this, that, and like swear and make something funny. Like her jokes are really intelligent. I love her skits. Her tart skits just kill me. And then the last channel in this category I want to mention is Mia's Virtual Vanity. Again, another very smart channel. I just love her commentary. And she is from, I can't remember, somewhere in Europe. Sorry, Mia. <laughs> um, but I just love her view of America from another part of the world. It's, it's pretty hilarious. And so I really, really love her as well. So that is my creators that make me laugh category. The next category is creators that teach me. So I had to give a shout out here to Mel Thompson. I love Mel because I believe she used to be a professional makeup artist. So I really love her tips and tricks and how she uses product. Um, I love her eyeshadow looks. She's just an all around like stunning human being. <laughs> Inside, outside, she just seems so genuine. I'd love to meet her in person someday. She teaches me so much about like little techniques and products and things like that. So I love that. I also wanted to mention Lauren May Beauty because she is also another professional makeup artist and she talks a lot about products and how they work and her thoughts and her color stories really get to me. Like she makes pastels look amazing and you guys remember when Lauren May Beauty would fill her eyebrows with pink eyeshadow like ugh, I wish I could recreate that and she taught me like blush draping because she did a video on that I just love her so much and then the last person in this category I wanted to mention is Kinky Sweat I just love her wealth of knowledge when it comes to her eyeshadow palette. She really goes in. She does multiple, multiple looks. I love her just emphasis on luxury makeup and especially Pat McGrath. Like I was watching one of her live streams when she got the Divine Rose 2 palette and I was like, why can't I do that? Like I need to be like that where I can sit and be like, oh, this shade looks like that shade in this palette from this year and her holiday collection this and that like she really immerses herself in the makeup she's reviewing and I think that's fabulous and it really teaches me a lot about different things so I love that so the category is youtubers that lift others up and I have to say Samantha March because she's amazing like I don't know what else to say she is just as sweet in person kind life of the party she always says like she's working on her confidence I think she's so confident she's so amazing she's such a sweetheart she's so inclusive she doesn't look at you like you're a number on YouTube like when I met her and even Angie like both of them probably two of the biggest youtubers I've met they never make you feel like you're just like a nobody. Um, so I love that for Samantha. I see her, you know, always mentioning other channels, shouting out her subscribers, shouting out brands she really likes. I think she gives so many people opportunities through her platform and I love, love, love that about her. And I think if the world was full of more people like her, we would have such a more amazing community than we do even now. I just think she's so good at lifting people up. She's really such a great example for young women um, that even though, you know, life doesn't always go the way you plan, you can take control and control your destiny. Like, I think that's a huge thing that she brings to our community and same goes for Amy Loves Makeup. I definitely consider her a friend. She is so kind and sweet and just like young but she's also like my moral compass when it comes to YouTube. If I ever feel funky about something or something a brand did rub me the wrong way, I always can talk to her and get really mature advice from her about how to look at something. I always see her shouting out brands, other YouTubers, like that's so important for the small beauty community so I just love her so much she doesn't have anything bad to say about anyone like I don't know she's just so positive and so kind and so generous with her time and I just love her so much she's such a great friend to me she's just a classy lady and she lifts so many others up. She was the reason that I got put on this brand's PR list and that was the first PR I ever got and I was just so touched that she thought of me. Um, I know she's always 
mentioning to brands things they can improve on. I just feel like she does it all and I think she's an amazing asset to the beauty community. So those two ladies, I just love so, so much and I had to mention them in that category. Okay, so the next category is YouTubers I respect and I just, I could pick so many people for each of these categories so hard, you guys, but I wanted to pick for this one Hannah Louise Poston because I have so much respect for her with her approach to YouTube. Like, it's so different. Like, before she did her no buy year, there were some other people doing no buys, but she really like made that a trend on YouTube and I think it's so cool and the ripples of her creating that no buy year, I think will just, you know, forever be a part of the small YouTube community and I think that's amazing and I just find her so inspiring because she sticks to her rules, she, you know, is really promoting less stuff, less is more. I think that's huge. Definitely something I want to get better at. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, I started the year off with a bang on this low buy. Didn't go quite as planned, but 2020 is just, you know, it's been a year. Anyway, I love Hannah so, so much. If you haven't checked her out, she's just like this oracle of knowledge on YouTube. And I just really, really enjoy how she digs into her makeup, really thoroughly examines and curates her collection. I have a lot of respect for that. So I had to mention Hannah in that category. The next question is, who is a creator that has a collection I love? I heard myself mentioned in this category in quite a few videos and I cannot understand why, you guys. I swear I don't have that much, okay? I really don't. But anyway, <laughs> let me send you in the way of some other creators that have amazing collections. First one I want to mention is Makeup Just For Fun, my friend Amanda. She has probably a makeup store in her basement. Every time ColourPop launches something, I know she already has it. So I'm just like, I keep asking her, I'm like, Amanda, like, can I, I just want to go to your house and see your makeup collection. Cause she films in front of this beautiful like shelf unit that has like all of these like products in the back of it. And I'm just like, <laughs> can you imagine like her collection? I can't, I, 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 uh, like I hope someday she shows it to us cause I haven't seen a collection video from her. Had to mention Amanda. And then the other person who has a beautiful collection that's very curated I think is Andrea Matiliano and she is, really, really on a journey to curate her eyeshadow palette collection, but I love her videos. I love when she shows her collection. Her background is so just pleasant. I, oh my gosh, she must have just like a Target store in her filming room because she always just has the most beautiful setup in her background and her makeup is displayed so beautifully. So those are my two for that. Creators that inspire you is the next one and for this I picked one very minimalist I think so I picked Kelly Gooch. I've been really into Kelly's videos for a while now and What I love about her again is it's so opposite of me where she has lesser or fewer nicer things she really dives into her products that she gets and she really thoroughly examines each thing like it's a special object in her collection. Definitely something I want to get better at, but you guys know I'm like a freaking magpie. If I see something shiny, I'm like, where, 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 you know? So I love that opposite or that like juxtaposition of Kelly where she knows exactly how many palettes she has. She knows what color it looks like, what color, and I love her videos. They're so innovative and just so thorough and beautiful and I just I just love her so much so she is one that inspires me I love getting ideas from her channel and then another person that I think really reminds me of this style now is Paulina Beauty um so Paulina used to be I think very much more into color and now she's kind of come into that like neutral slash color vibe and I just love her videos again she's also trying to buy less I can I think correct me if I'm wrong Paulina but I think she's trying to um buy less and she 
again, all her palettes just look so used and loved. I love that about seeing her makeup because there's a lot of YouTubers that they'll show their collection and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, this is messy, but I love seeing messy makeup because to me that means you're getting really good use out of it and you guys know makeup is expensive so it really like thrills me to see when youtubers can take one thing and turn it into so much content on their channel and like redo things and just yeah take one little thing and make it so much more in a video like that's what really inspires me so i love both of those channels for that the next category is um, YouTubers I'd like to be friends with in real life. Again, the list is endless. I was trying to think of like, oh, if I could live next door to these people, like who would I want to live next door to? So everyone I've already mentioned, of course, and then I thought Morgan Turner, because she just seems like such a sweetheart, like just so laid back and carefree in her videos and she's so talented so i would love to be friends with her in real life i also um, mentioned dr ash and her makeup she is such a sweetheart um i will link her channel you guys should definitely check her out really chill loves makeup has a great collection and has a different skin tone than i do so i really really enjoy her channel and would love to be friends with her in real life just because she seems so calm and cool and then i had to mention the instagram account legally black beauty because she is just so knowledgeable like, really knows how to like express something without like hurting people's feelings i think because there's a lot of stuff that she says that i agree with but i swear if i had tried to give that same opinion i would have probably totally screwed it up so even though this is mostly youtube focus i had to mention legally black beauty i would love to be friends with her in real life she seems so cool and like interesting like, and then i also mentioned everyday heidi uh when she collabed i think with somebody on youtube that i follow and i just love her she is so beautiful and her makeup is gorgeous so if you guys are looking for you know really relatable people i would definitely check out all the channels I just mentioned. Okay, so for the next question, which is hope to see grow, I wanted to mention makeup by Maria Malone, and I believe she is Irish, and I don't know how I found her. She must have been like a suggestion, but I know my friend Amy watches her too, and her makeup is amazing. Like, her makeup looks photoshopped, but like obviously she's doing tutorials and you see the eyeshadow being created in front of you. So obviously it's not photoshopped, but it's amazing. And like, I just, if I had even like an ounce of that talent in like my pinky, I would be the best YouTuber ever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, check out her channel because I definitely think she deserves more subscribers and her makeup is amazing. So the next category is a YouTuber or a creator that gives out good vibes. And I had to mention Sid from Diaries of a Beauty Guru Wannabe. So sweet. She's just, I don't know, her channel is, again, so different from me. She's on a makeup budget. She really, again, loves her singles, loves her indie brands. Just such a chill person. I don't know what to say. I feel like if I had a little sister, like a YouTube little sister, it would be Sid just because her vibe is just so positive and she's so sweet and the way she talks, she just seems so kind. She has a lot of makeup content and... I just really love her, so I definitely get good vibes from her. Okay, so we have some other categories that Heather mentioned to me that we should add, so I did go ahead and answer them. So the additional questions that Heather created was, the first one is, who would you go shopping with? And I've been shopping with uh, Amy and Angie, uh, makeup shopping, and it's so much fun. We also went Emily Hanhan. Um, was with us in New York, so I've been shopping with her. I've been shopping with one of my subscribers, which was super fun in New York as well, so all really good memories, but I had to say Michelle Wong because, come on, are you serious? Like, if Michelle wants to adopt me, I am available, Michelle. If you want to be my fairy god 
older sister that like needs somebody to spoil like I'm available Michelle just let me know <laughs> her collection is insane I just feel like you know I would just love to just I would just love to shop with Michelle I don't think I'm quite in the tax bracket yet where I could do that but oh my gosh I just love her stuff. I love her designer bag unboxings, like uh, like a bougie bitch wannabe, like deep inside me, but I don't have the budget, so it's fine. But I think it would be so fun to go shopping with her because her collection, her bag collection, her makeup collection, it's everything. And I just love her vibe. She's just so luxurious seeming. So I had to, I had to pick Michelle Wong for that. So the next category is who would you love to collab with? And I really wanted to pick like an unproblematic bigger YouTuber because I feel like, you know, this is like one of those where like, if you could meet one celebrity, who would you want to meet, you know? So it's, I like, obviously I would want to collab with all the women I'm mentioning in this video, but I thought, let me just like play like wish list, like who would be like the wildest collab? So I definitely thought of like Kathleen Lights, Samantha Ravindahl, and then Patricia Bright, I thought would be like my top three. Kathleen, I've always been a big fan of. Samantha Ravindahl, I don't really follow most of her makeup stuff like I really like watching her commentary type videos just because I love like her vibe she's so chill like if I could be like if I could pick a youtuber that I'm most similar to I think Samantha Ravindahl is kind of that vibe because she's just so chill or she seems really chill Patricia Bright again I just love her sense of humor I love her style she's British I mean come on like that's like triple threat right so I would love to collab with her so I decided to go for like a big big youtuber just like for funsies you know like if I could play like in the perfect world like who would I collab with those are my top three people and then the last question Heather came up with was someone to give you an on-camera makeover and like I couldn't pick anyone but Angie like I want Angie to do my makeup so bad I've literally told Angie this in person in DMs I'm like Angie I just want you to do my makeup like someday I want to sit on camera and I want you to do my makeup because her eyeshadow like you guys it it looks just as stunning in person as it does on camera. I've seen her do her makeup and I just want her to beat my face to the gods. Like, I just do. I just want her to put my eyeshadow on for me because I just, ah, uh, she just so brilliant. So, and then the 10th question Kara had in her video was honorable mentions and I have so many. Um, so I will try and link all of these channels, but I wanted to mention, of course, Annette's Makeup Corner, Butte Bean, Emily, Audra, Kara, of course, um, A, It's Amanda, um, uh, is a channel that I found in my comment section. I love her, um, Hot Mess Ness, one of my really good friends that I haven't talked to in a while. Um, need to get on that. Desi, I do still love her. She's a big YouTuber and I just, I still love her content so much. Katie, of course. Andrea Renee, Jen Loves Reviews. The list goes on and on and on. I also have a YouTube video where I did like my favorite YouTubers or like my subscription list for YouTube. So I'll go ahead and link that down in my description box as well. Okay guys, I'm gonna head out. Just so you know, I think I'm gonna take the 4th of July off. I don't feel like people are gonna be watching YouTube on the 4th, so I probably won't have a video. I just wanna give you guys a heads up so you are mentally prepared. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break, uh, but I will be back with my regularly scheduled content on July 6th, so I hope you guys all have a safe 4th of July. Enjoy time with your family. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will leave some playlists so you guys can binge watch some of my videos in case you do miss me and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!